Mole is an organisation that's Liverpool grown. We work with people with learned disabilities and mental health issues. We're uniquely based within the University of Liverpool uh, and within the School of Sociology, Social Policy and Criminology. And our aim for the people that we serve is to develop them not only personally but professionally so they can be proactive within the community and within society as a whole. Um, MOLE is an organisation that supports people to achieve their, their next steps or their goals in life. Um, some people come to MOLE because they, they, they want to gain a bit more confidence about um, explaining what they want in life. So it could be moving out of the family home into their own accommodation and living a bit more independently. It could be um, somebody who wants to, to kind of access further education, um, get a job either paid or, or voluntary, or, or just very simply somebody who wants to make more friends because the life they're leading, they may feel, um, I suppose, socially isolated. So it's a chance for people to come in, join, join us at Mole and, and hopefully, you know, um, develop some really good friendships while they're with us. People who come to Mole prefer to be known as self-advocates because that empowers them to say that they have a voice, not just within themselves, but within the family circle, the social circle, and within their local community. What they get out of it is we provide opportunities for them to shape not only our organisation as a whole, but individually um, to develop themselves not only within communication, literacy, numeracy, information technology, art projects, but to develop themselves to interact with um, developing friendships and relationships and to put themselves out there um, for the job market. For 19 years I left school, I never bothered with any disability organisation or because I didn't know there was nothing out there. I went and we had enough time at school through my issues. I never looked back, I just like a wild horse, but I had stable, really. So when I came back to Mall, it was a bit of a culture shock, but I stuck it out. I did reassure me, you know, what she wanted from me, because I had, I had a lot of ability that I didn't know I had. So she worked on that for a couple of months and then started to me out to do different courses, you know, and we went to London on a course, got involved with their focus group and then I started from there then I started from there and then just done everything including conferences uh, working with law teaching and my, my future goal at Mall is to teach independence because I do support on us because we're there let us in our own right so hopefully in the next couple of years I'll be able to do that without support so a lot of it taking off Hardy's shoulders so once I learn, I'm going to take people to under my wing and teach them the way I just taught me. That's what it's all about, being a peer to empower each other. MOLE is a sort of organisation which you want to get involved with because it's hearts in the right place. It might sound a little bit corny, but the way in which the volunteers and the staff really care and are really careful about what they do is simply inspiring. Mole is the peace, the harmony, the friendship. Mole means respect, friendship and someone to listen to. Mole is, to me, friendship, empowering people for a family. 
Mills like a family to me, and it's like a home to me. More about more to me, it's very, it's, it's, it's very unique. About I'm the North Star, and trying, trying to make people independent, and they listen to it all the time. And we have um, circles of friendship and support, which is. Um, run really by our PAC team, our, P our team of peer advocates who support people who perhaps can't get around the community for various reasons. Maybe they lack confidence travelling on public transport, maybe um, they don't like travelling on their own. So our peer advocates organise social events throughout the year and support people to get to those events really. So it's unpaid support really, that, that's what it is. And as our team leader of Peer Advocates says, it, it's about friendship, not paid support. I've, I've done um, a qualification in travel training called Train the Trainer. And um, I've travel trained one of my friends on a pack member called Keely. So what difference do you think it makes to people's lives? Um, it makes a lot of difference because some people are scared to get on buses and like some people get bullied and like they're scared to get on buses but like if you help them then to get on the buses then it makes a lot of difference. And how does it make you feel to be able to sort of do that peer-led kind of training? It makes you feel dead good inside because they don't help someone. We have 11 peer advocates who've got huge gifts in support in self-advocates within the jigsaw program or whether they're dis delivering disability equality training disability hate crime training or you know just about making people more independent in their life and that way we're all being friendly towards them and if they're having little problems of any sort we always help them to sort those problems out and that's part of our function as members of the PACT team and over those years we've have helped a few people out. No part of me at, at, at the end of the day it, it, it great to help people to move on that we try, that we try to get them done what we didn't have can we open label, make our work better need? Do you try to run the right over to them, talk to them, not to move on, not to the north star. And I feel great, I love packed, I love more. I feel, sometimes I walk out a little bit on cloud nine.
I've been involved with Mole since the beginning, so it'll be 14 years in June. Um, what do I get out of it? Um, seeing people who come in who lack confidence, um, disengaged within the community, who have no social life, um, lack skills to make them employable uh, and accepted in our community. Um, and then they come through our program and they leave with exceptional gifts, confidence, circle of friends, um, that they can then become proactive within their local community and society as a whole. You can't put a price on that. It's totally blessed.